Okay, let's see what Twitter's been up to, because they always post some absolutely cringy stuff. What did you expect from Twitter anyways? Remove one piece of clothing, 500 retweets, or 500 likes. What is this? This is just so wrong on so many levels. Why does this have 3,705 likes and 856 retweets? What? Where are the police? Why can't they do anything about this type of thing? This is clearly a depiction of a child. And I know some people might be like, well, actually, they're 36 years of age. They're not. They're clearly a child. And if they're not a child, they have the attributes of a child. It's weird. I don't understand it. And I can't believe people like this want to be seen as an identifiable thing in the LGBTQ. Get in the bin. So I heard you're having trouble sleeping. So how about I come over tonight? But I can make you tired. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? I don't know what I just watched, but I'm scared. Like, that is probably one of the most disturbing things I have ever seen. I'm having trouble sleeping now knowing that this thing is out in the existence that I'm in. Why would you go through all this effort to look like that just to say something so creepy? My god. How about I come over tonight? Let's just get into some more cringe because you guys love me burning my eyes out, so enjoy this. Everybody, I'm so sorry in advance. My name is Alexander Starr. I just released a song and I'm gonna sing it for you guys right here. I hope you enjoy. I don't want your money. No, I'm a little drunk and I can go now. All due respect, she actually sounds like a pretty good singer. No, but I, I, I am not gonna listen to a song that starts off with no cap. No cap, I'm a little drunk right now, and I can cry right now. <laughs> and obviously, I don't think anyone would jump off a train to avoid her singing, because like I said, she's not bad, <laughs> but it's just like, come on. But then again, looking at this guy's face, he clearly just does not want to even be here. No cap. Pub when your husband passes from cancer, and you turn to exercise to cope with grief. Then launch an activewear line to inspire others to do the same. I mean, that is just my ambition right there, guys. To be dying on my bed, my deathbed even, from cancer to then be used in my partner's promotional work for her active sportswear. I'm just saying, guys, if I ever die and my partner decides to promote activewear, do not buy it. Buy it and take a dump on it. Can you imagine if I did that? Hey guys, my dad just died of cancer. Go buy my merch I just made. So this woman's husband passed away from cancer and she just saw that as the perfect opportunity to promote her active sportswear. I mean, yes, you could have the argument that she's dealing with her trauma, but I mean, this, this obviously isn't a good look. I just don't understand how people can be this stupid sometimes as to do something like this. Do they not look at it and think this might not be a good idea? I don't want your money. Guys, I'm gonna start off this video with someone's controversial opinion, which is so stupid, this person has the IQ of my big toe. Controversial opinion, but if you have a token white and you're hanging out with your friend group of color, you need to ask permission from everybody in the group to bring your white friend. What year is it? Oh yeah, that's right. It's 2022, nearly 2023. Why Why are these people living as if we're still in like the 18th century? You absolute dumbass. That's not even a controversial opinion. That is just racism. Like don't just bring them. Ask for explicit permission from everyone because just because you're comfortable with them doesn't mean that everybody's comfortable with them I might not be in the mood to deal with white shenanigans that day. That's that's all I'm saying Hey guys, I just want to say I am sorry if I do too many white shenanigans on this channel It's just what us white people do. We just do so many white people shenanigans Anyone here who is black or Asian or any person of color have you ever had to ask your friend group? Was it okay? to bring this white person to hang out with you. Hey guys, by the way, this guy is white. He might do some white shenanigans. <laughs> Make sure he doesn't colonize you. <laughs> we live in such a stupid, crazy world. And another thing, it feeds into their ego. Like, don't don't let them think they're a good white person. Don't, don't give them that card to use against other people. Please don't do that. Yeah, that's totally me. That's so relatable. Every time I speak to someone of color, I go home, look in the mirror, give myself a big thumbs up and go, yeah, I'm a good white person. Moving on from whatever that creature was, uh, I actually tweeted this one out. 
<laughs> TikTok teens are dipping their balls in soy sauce and lighting their houses on fire. God damn it, TikTok. What? What even are these trends? Hey, what did you do at the weekend, Ben? Oh, well, I actually dipped my balls in some soy sauce and then I lit my house on fire somehow. Everyone, everyone was responding saying that this is like something in Ohio. What even is this meme? I don't get it. Why is everyone saying that everything bad that happens is in Ohio? Can someone explain that to me? Someone actually responded to my tweet saying, finally, a trend women's can't do. I mean, oh, you, are, you ladies are so lucky you don't, you can't dip your balls in soy sauce and set your house on fire. Right, so this next one, I believe this woman wanted to do a funny video where she was like a cat eating some food. It didn't really turn out too well, so I'd lower the volume if you don't want to lose your ears. Who gave this person a phone and access to the internet? What cat has this person seen to think that cats act like this? I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I don't see myself being a fully grown adult acting like this and then posting it to TikTok. It just, <laughs> what are you doing? The thing is as well, not only having to clear up that mess that she's made, she actually looked at this video and thought, yeah, this was, this was a good thing to post to the internet today. I know three of these flags. Name Neon, Grey works too, but Neon is preferred. Right, okay. Uh, I think I know two of these flags. I think this top right one is for transsexual people. And the bottom left one is bisexual, I think. I have no idea what this Pokemon one is. Jesus. I think this one here is like the Irish one. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> This one legit just has a question mark. I don't think they even know what it is. If anyone knows what any of these flags are, just let me know because obviously I'm not being like rude or ignorant to it. I generally just don't know. I have a good feeling though about the first two ones. I think I got those right. Or at the very least, I got them the wrong way around. Cut me some slack. Everyone's got a flag now for everything. I, I have no idea what half of these even are now. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. He just lost a gritty contest. <laughs> Is that what kids are doing nowadays? They're just hanging around having a contest who does the best gritty? I honestly don't know if I'm even saying it right. This kid <laughs> is also legit angry that he lost. <laughs> He's honestly just probably gonna go home and cry himself to sleep. It's like, why couldn't I hit the gritty any harder? So here we have some weebs and they're comparing their anime girlfriend to your girlfriend who's a real person. 20 years later, yep, the anime person looks the same and obviously your girlfriend looks older. 40 years later, anime girl's still the same and apparently your partner is just dead. I think the stark difference here is that one is real and you have real life memories with and not behind a cartoon anime character. Like, the reality of it is, is this anime character doesn't know who you are. It's just entirely in your imagination. These type of people honestly just need to go outside and touch some grass and get a reality check of what life actually is. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the cringe, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. You can send me videos you want me to look at over on Twitter or Instagram. Just tag me in it or just send me a message. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.